thanks to everybody for coming. There is a handout, so if anyone doesn't have, feel free to ask. I'd like to begin by thanking the math department that has allowed us to sort of invade this space. This is traditionally a math seminar, and they were just so kind to let such a large group of outside math people come into the building and investigate. You know, just as a general introductory statement, you know, I think many of us entered into grad school because you know, we want to pursue truth and beauty and give birth to epic ideas from intense intellectual romances. But I think a lot of us sometimes feel a little bit frustrated because we feel like we're secluded and separated in our silos and we're unable to often scale beyond that and we hyper-focus on our research, unable to collaborate or talk to other people from different disciplines, even though that might birth a whole variety of very useful breakthroughs um, that may happen. So really, so to address that, we have four different objectives for today. The first objective is just to bring people from different disciplines together. And I think we've kind of done that. So how many of you, just out of curiosity, are from like bio and neuroscience? That's a good amount. And how many are from math? All right. And how many are from psychology? That's awesome. Thanks for coming. And how many are from physics? I think it's awesome. We've got a few physics people here too, that's awesome. Computer science, we've got two here. And then any other fields that I haven't mentioned yet? Yeah. Innovation. Innovation, and then anthropology. anthropology and, and then yeah, social science. And social science. So we really have a pretty good mixture here. Uh, the second objective is just to bring people together and learn something new. So we've got some remarkable speakers here. We'll start off with Rose and is Joshua or just Rose? Uh, Josh is here. Okay, cool. Oh, just me. So, so Rose will go over some basic concepts in topology, vocab words, things like that. We'll talk about her real world research. And, you know, she actually uses a little bit of topology in the analysis that she does, but maybe within her there's a greater desire to get some more depth of topology that will maybe reveal some secrets within what she's looking at. And her research has relevance to human diseases, and she'll talk about that. And she'll also sort of talk about, you know, going from the neuron to a little bit of the network level. And from there, Angelica, who's part of the math department, will talk about, you know, random matrices or met random networks and how that might be relevant to neuroscience. So that will be like the formal part of this of today. And then after that, from 3 to 3.30, we'll do a little bit of like experimental brainstorming. Because usually when we come to these sorts of lectures, ideas come and then they just dissipate in the air. And what we want to do is capture those ideas into a fruit, into some sort of product. And so the goal will be to create a little magazine where each chapter will be each of these meetings. And the first few pages will be sort of what Rose talks about, the concepts, the ideas. The next few pages will be what Sarah talks about and Angelica talks about. And then the final few pages will be an innovative dreamscape of interesting ideas that mix these two different disciplines together. So that when someone's reading it, they learn something, but they also get these open-ended questions about collaboration. And the fourth sort of objective is to create a larger group. So right now our group is like five, six people, but anyone that's interested is welcome to join. And we can start brainstorming and working towards actual collaborations that one day may even get funding. So maybe we can create like a real topological toolkit that Sarah can use, and then when she goes to SFN or whatever, other people in the entire world can use it. Who knows? And this can also help develop our uh, professional portfolios. Okay. And on this handout, you know, when we get to the brainstorming section, there are a few maybe light questions that can help guide our brainstorming. If you want to join our group, you know, here's my email. You can email us. And there's also like, um, you know, there's like the STEM stuff, but there's also like where I bring in art and music. And if you're interested in that, you can email me. Um, and the final thing on this handout is on the back. There are a few, and these are just like a really quick literature review, like search. So this is not thorough. But the first two papers are good reviews that give you like a you know, really sort of macroscopic view of everything. Um, and this image is from one of those review papers, again, just showing that topological concepts are relevant at the molecular level, but also all the way to the human level, um, to the point of social networks. So even anthropology um, can actually benefit from this perspective, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that was all that I wanted to say, and now we're going to have Rose talk about awesome stuff.